Hi, what's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to bring you a little update on my Robinhood portfolio for the dividends that were received for the month of April. So, as you can see over here, the portfolio is sitting at about $60,000. The market is currently down right now, which I'm fine with that because I'll keep on dollar cost averaging and buying um, the dips. But, as you can see over here to the right, I have these seven positions here. QILD, RYLD, SDIV, AGNC, Realty O, Good, and SPHD. If I scroll down to the bottom part right over here, you can see my reoccurring investments. I have it set to have like around $10 to $25 to $20 of each of these different investments here for a total of $120 a week. So that works out to be about $480 um, a month. And right over here, I'm going to click on my history so we can go over the totals. And as you can see right over here, um, I have SPHD. $1.47 for April and I'll go all the way down to the bottom ones over here so $2.98 from Gladstone, $3.12.71 from um, the Global X Fund and this is actually QILD. This one is ROILD and it is $59.56. Go down over here and there's three more payments so this is Realty O, $5.15 and this is SDIV at $125.78 and this is AGNC. So if we tally up everything, it comes out to be $617.79 for the month of April. And I'll definitely be giving you all an update on May's dividend payouts. So, um, so far the only thing I see a difference in with this account is that the QILD payments for May is supposed to drop about three cents. So um, the previous month was 0.2051, I believe in May it's supposed to pay out 0.1785 per share, which is going to dramatically reduce the dividends that are going to be paid out for the month of May. But we'll see what happens. And so this is the last thing I want to show you right here is my spreadsheet on the numbers application. You can see how many shares that I own and how much they pay out per share. And this is the projected monthly profit at 636.09, yearly total is $7,633.06. As I scroll up to the top of the chart here for 2022, you can see how April I collected $617.79 in dividends, and this is March, February, and January. And I will scroll up really quick so you can see um, all of 2021 right over here. So that's it for today's update. Definitely comment below if you have any questions, subscribe and share this video. And as always, thank you all for watching.